<laughs> well, you've probably heard the term atmospheric river. Maybe not right now, but previously with this storm and many others. What exactly is it? Brand new at 630. We didn't spoil it for you, Matt. <laughs> Meteorologist Matt Gray gives us a deeper explanation on how these systems help and harm the inland northwest. Yeah, all right. So these so-called rivers in the sky are, are pretty much that. This isn't too hard of an explanation. High moisture content in the atmosphere that ends up flowing over the same spot. Basically, when these show up at our door, it's like sitting at the end of a fire hose. Take a closer look at the graphic here. So storms developing in the North Pacific, sometimes they tap into that moist tropical layer down by Hawaii, one of the reasons they call it the Pineapple Express. And they slingshot it over the western coast. And this leads to a lot of beneficial rain all at once. But this onslaught of wet weather, well, all at once, often leads to issues like flooding, landslides, and avalanche danger. We're seeing this impact from this latest atmospheric river in our region right now. Monday was the wettest day in Spokane since December 30th of 2020. It was also 61% of all the rain that we got this February, and that was just in a single day. So, a lot of rain at once. These events are good for farmers, they're good for trout, they're good for water supply, they're great for your lawn, but there is a cost in that all of that water has to go somewhere. That's why the Coeur d'Alene River between Cataldo and Harrison is flooding and the St. Mary's River can end up hitting flood stage this weekend. So you can see the uh, flood graphs there getting up to the minor flood stage. Other areas, including the Spokane River at the falls, well, they're gonna be much higher than normal in the week ahead. The best advice I have for you is to stay out of the water this week while our rivers on the ground absorb the river from the sky. Atmospheric rivers also bring pretty warm temperatures, which sometimes leads to melting snowpack and some poor ski conditions. If you want to learn more about how these systems affect the snow up there, we've got a video up right now on the 4 News Now YouTube channel. Check it out.